Okay, guys, I had to take a, a brief moment to regroup. Um, so in my 20 by 20 canvases, I usually do the main pour with a 16 ounce cup. I believe that's 16 ounce. Now I'm going to double check that. Sorry. 18 ounce cup. I apologize. So I usually do my pours on a 20 by 20 and an 18 ounce cup. This is a 24 by 24. And I found myself a 24 ounce cup. Now made by Solo. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cup, layer my paints, but I'm also going to have a little bit in here layered up so that I could start the pour with this because I'm going to need that extra ounces of um, paint to manipulate my uh, composition. I don't want to overstretch it. Things get a little wobbly then. I'm hoping to keep the pour somewhere within here. Um, the last one I did was sort of wonky looking, but it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I'll get it. You guys can take a look at it. So here it is. Beautiful. It is so pretty. I can't get it in the camera all the way. I don't know. Anyhow, that is the 25 or by 24. So let's get this one going. We're going to see what we can, we can do and go from there. No 18 ounce cup. So I know you guys like to see me layering, so I will go through the layers. White is first, even in this little cup. I'm gonna use a little bit of the sugar plum, I think it was. I'll use this one. Um, that was the Prussian blue with metallic. Um, this is the candy apple. I'm going to use deep turquoise now. And I'm going to use a little bit of white. And some gold. I mixed up a big, big vat of 32 ounces of that today. Um, so let's use a little bit of blue again. So that's what we're going to do with that. So we're just going to set this aside because it is going to be the first pour on top of the white puddle. Now on to the 24 ounce cup. That was the plum. I got the white in there. Maybe do a little, little tiny splotch of uh, gold. We're going to use the Prussian blue with the metallic navy mixed in it. And do the Maui. Deep turquoise. The candy apple. I'll do a little bit of white. Prussian blue. I'm going to go with Maui right after that. Deep turquoise. I'm going to do some white. I'm 
Um, what's he called? And the sugar plum color. Turquoise. So I did sugar plum, candy apple, deep turquoise. I'm going to do the Maui. And I do a little bit of white. The Prussian blue. I do the gold. And the apple. That was the navy and um, Prussian blue mix there. Deep turquoise. Green. I'm going to do some white. The gold, gotta get all that out of there. And we'll finish up the Prussian blue with navy. All right, so I'm like really excited so far. My layers look very neat. Um, if your paints are off just a little bit, They'll sink sometimes, so um, I usually just think that it's too thin. I'm just going to use up all this. This is just not a whole lot left, and I don't want to keep it around. I can use it. Put that there. That is a very full cup. Now, um, this canvas, it's a really big canvas, so I like to spray all my canvases, I gotta move this, um, with water after I tape off the backs. I always tape off the back of my canvases because I like the really neat look it gives. When you take it off, it's you got those beautiful, perfect lines, the paint doesn't bleed through. And I use green frog tape. The blue painter's tape does not, for myself, I've not had very good success at um, keeping them all in there. So I think what I wanna do, cause the cup was a little slippery, it is a large cup. I want to tape a ring around it so that I can grip it and not have a problem, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe not, but in my 
torch is like stuck there. Okay. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. I'm going to um, pour the white in the center and we'll pour the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this in the middle. Get all the little bits out of there. And I'm going to scrape the cup. Get some beautiful findings in there. Sort of make it wish this was a smaller canvas and I would have just done that one. bring you guys in and you can see the pretty. Ah, love it. All right, so I'm going to pour the next cup on top of that and it's going to cover all that, but that's okay. I'm not really concerned about it. I do, however, need it. So i um, just going to give a quick torch. lines are really cool. Ah, I'm glad I put that tape there. All right, so this is really full. And I'm up high. And I'm slowly lowering myself towards the canvas. not breathing. I love it. it. It's so pretty. Even if it doesn't turn out like I want it to, I love it. New mix of colors, except for about two of them, so it's nice to experiment with other colors. You know, I've had some people mention that they would be curious to see how it worked out as um, in the reds and pinks tones, and I just, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm intrigued, interested in maybe possibly doing it, but I don't know what the outcome would be. 
Um, but with that said, isn't that how fluid art is? Somehow I got a hair in there. Right there. Come here. Okay, so I'm going to give it a torch. There's not really much to see. Lots of air bubbles in that. That happens with a straight pour, so make sure you do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to come in all around it and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I wanted to just bring you guys in so you can see all of this. I have not stretched this at all yet. It is, um, I, I just had uh, turned the recording off just so I can spread out the white. Somebody had suggested that because I was cutting out the layering of the cut and I, you know, just no rhyme or reason for it. Um, I was just doing that. Clearly that's a problem if you guys want to know how it's layered because I can't remember half the time that it's layered and I, I just refer everybody back to the Sky River video because that is where I do have a layered cup and for the most part I still follow that. So, anywho, so this is, uh, this is it so far. Let's see how we stretch it out. Now you need to understand, this is where you guys are, this is where I am. This is a very big canvas, so if it goes off screen, I'm very sorry. That's just the way my setup is right now, and uh, just imagine the paint moving. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to go over here first. And it's very heavy. There's lots of paint on here. I'm going to bring it back to center. I'm gonna come over to this corner back towards me, my right hand corner. And I'm gonna come back into the center. I'm just slowly moving the paint. It's actually going a lot faster than I wanted, but we'll go to this corner. And come right back before it goes over. And I'll put this down in just a second so you can see how it's moving. And then I'm going to come back to this corner. Uh, all right. So we're going to let it sit. Um, it did accidentally move to, I angled the canvas a little bit. So it did go off over here a smidge, but that's okay. Sort of looks like a geode but it won't for long. We're gonna give those air bubbles a poppin'. So, I'm bound to get paint on me today, I know I am. The bigger you go, the more risk it is. I already got it on my arm. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna come back this way, and then I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna come back over here. Maybe. No, I'm gonna do it opposite, so I'm gonna come. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you'll see. No, I'll do it this way. I'm not gonna go opposite. I'm going to stretch again over the edge just a little bit, back to center. I'm going to come back towards me. Back to center. Ah. I just want to let it sit. It's very heavy. <laughs> I've already said that, but it's heavy. It's okay to be heavy, just not when I'm trying to control the pour as much. But I'm gonna go over here. And back. 
You'll see it in a sec, guys. Somebody mentioned they love hearing the paint hit the, the, the uh, table or the coverlet or whatnot. And, it, you know, the more they've said that now, I've just, like, been thinking about that. So when it does it, it sort of makes me happy. <laughs> um, I'm going to come back over to this corner. Definitely tiny out so pretty. I'm gonna go over to that corner. So I used, um, I did more layers of gold than I normally do. I'm just gonna rinse off my hand real quick. And I've used more paint, obviously, also. open the bands up more because these are all layered bands and I, I don't know what do you guys see over there oh yeah um, sort of like how this is a wee bit different than anywhere else on the canvas and I sort of want to hold on to that but I may not be able to Decisions. I don't know what to do. I gotta do something, so. Maybe that, and maybe not. We'll find out in a second. My little cup tipped over. I love all these lines in here are so cool. <clears throat> I'm all done with this. This is so really cool. I it, it almost looks like it's the inside of a, the curved area of a wave from this angle. But and I'm just I can't wait to show you these in here. This this is just beautiful. All right. 
gonna bring you guys down. Save my gloves. You guys have been so patient. So here we are. Just, I love this. And the green here. So it's not as galaxy-like. I mean, it is, but it's not. Um, it's not as deep color-wise as I have done. And I just love all of this. Look, look at those lines. They're so cool. They look like little underwater seaweed floating around with the currents. Look at that. Love it, love it. So these are what I wanted to show you. I mean, just look at those. They are so pretty. Ah, sort of like, I can't think of the name right now. Abalone. I love it. I love them. They are my favorite part. And then we span back and we have the boulders or the river rock. I'm not sure. And I love this little area. So cool. But I'm I'm really happy with this one. I love the different colors. Um, I tried to open up these bands, but it doesn't seem as though that was in the cards. You have to listen to your paint and your canvas. Um, it's just so awesome. So awesome. And I love this corner too. So, um, it was a galaxy style pour, but it didn't turn out that way in the end. Um, I'm really loving. Looks like we're, I think I'm going to name it Whirlpool. I love it. Atlantis or something like that. It's very, um, ocean like anyways guys thank you so much for watching you can get your um lolly uh lolly vefe silicone mats mine is gonna have some pretty um skins on it um but you can get them in a link below underneath the video and uh there's a coupon code for five dollars off and that's sarah five so, maybe I'm on to a water series now. Who knows? Stay tuned. Bye for now, guys. Thanks for watching.